As you already know, DNA is composed of a surrounding sugar phosphate backbone and centered nitrogenous bases. The interphase is split into two and three phases. The first phase, the G1 phase, is where the cell increases in mass to prepare for cell division. Next is the S phase, where DNA is synthesized and replicated. The last stage is the G2 stage. Protein synthesis occurs in this stage. The process of DNA replication during the S phase is the process of taking an original parent DNA molecule and producing two identical DNA molecules. DNA is anti-parallel, meaning that both strands, 5' prime and 3' prime, run in opposite directions chemically in a double helical fashion, the 5' prime strand opposite to the 3' prime strand. In the DNA bases of nucleotides, each opposite strand that interact through hydrogen bonds are known as complementary base pairings. Because one base complements the other, the base sequence of one strand can determine the base sequence of the opposite strand. The mechanisms of DNA replication for newly synthesized DNA molecules is composed of one strand of the parent DNA molecule and the daughter strand. This is known as semi-conservative replication. When DNA replicates, an enzyme called helicase unwinds the two strands. The single strand protein keeps the DNA in place as the helicase catalyzes the hydrogen bonds holding the nitrogenous bases together. The DNA polymerase, polymerase adds new nucleotides to each strand. The two strands involved with DNA replication are the leading and the lagging strand. The leading strand replicates perfectly, quote unquote, with no discrepancies in the process. The lagging strand goes through more steps and we cannot add nucleotides on the free prime end. Once the DNA has been split by helicase, an RNA primer sets down RNA onto the lagging strand. DNA polymerase does its job until there is a confliction between the DNA and the RNA, your cell. DNA ligase must clean up the RNA segments. These sequences must be cleaned up and are called the Ozaki fragments. The Okazaki fragments are joined together by an enzyme called DNA ligase. The DNA polymerase free is an enzyme that adds new, sorry, new nucleotides one at a time to the end of the free prime strand to create a strand of DNA complementary parental strand. DNA pol polymerase free can only synthesize a new strand from a parent strand from the five prime to the three prime direction towards the replication fork. The main purpose of DNA pol polymerase too is proofreading newly synthesized DNA. DNA polymerase are able to recognize whether or not the correct nucleotide has been added. If a wrong nucleotide is added, the process of replication is stalled and the DNA polymerase adds the correct base to the strand using the parental strand as a template for complementary pairs. Proofreading repairs close to 100% but not all of the errors, errors that occur during DNA replication. The importance of proofreading is more emphasized in DNA replication than in RNA, as DNA holds genetic information that will be replicated, whereas RNA creates proteins that can just be remade. The DNA polymerase 1 is an enzyme that removes RNA primer and fills the gap between the Okazaki fragments on the lagging strands of DNA nucleotides. The polymerase also proofreads newly synthesized DNA. Topium erase 2 acts as a pain reliever, relieving the strain created by the unwinding of the parent DNA of the double helix. This regulates the winding of DNA so that it does not overwind or underwind. Single-stranded binding proteins are enzymes that are used to help stabilize single-stranded regions of the DNA where it is unwinded. This is important as it helps prevent premature bonding of complementary base pairs and protects DNA from being digested by the nucleases. The exonucleus is an enzyme that cleaves the nucleotides from the end of the polynucleotide chain 
Through the use of a hydrolyzing process, this enzyme also helps to prove reading. Hello, I'm Dr. Bate, PhD in medical biology, undergrad in medical physics, and I minored in new geology. When DNA replicates, an enzyme, <laughs> an enzyme called helicase. No, start, start over here again. <laughs> it is also known as a green party. A mutation in DNA can result in many deformities and or abnorm abnormalities. While in a mutation, <laughs> while a mutation, oh, <laughs> this doesn't make sense. While a mutation, exonucleus is an en is an enzyme that cleaves nucleotides from the end of the polynucleotide chain. For the use of, hyd of a hydrolyzing, of, uh, a hydrolyzing, a hydrolyzing process. My bad. Okay. Just Through the use of a hydrolyzing process. No, say it from the beginning. Nucleases. Nucleases. 